Hello. Uncovering the secrets in the Dylan Redwine case, this will shock you. Welcome to Crime Chronicles. Our story starts with a family broken by divorce, dealing with tough custody battles. Mark Redwine and Elaine Hall, once in love, now faced each other in a bitter fight. Their son Dylan, a happy 13-year-old, was caught in the middle. In November 2012, Dylan disappeared from his dad's home in Colorado, bringing their private issues into the spotlight. Search teams scoured the rough terrain, driven by a mix of hope and fear. Elaine, worried and tearful, begged for her son's return, her voice full of fear. Mark, calm and distant, claimed he was innocent, but his behavior made people suspicious. In 2013, Dylan's partial remains were found on a remote mountainside, confirming the family's worst fears. Dylan was gone, and the big question was no longer, where is Dylan? But what happened to Dylan? The small town of Bayfield, Colorado was deeply shaken. The disappearance of a child is always tragic, but it became more troubling when people started suspecting Mark Redwine. Rumors spread, making Mark seem like a hidden monster in an ordinary life. Dylan's older brother, Corey, added to the suspicions with his statements. Corey was troubled by his last conversation with his father and suspected Mark's involvement in Dylan's disappearance. He recalled a scary phone call where Mark allegedly said, if I ever had to dispose of a body, it would be in the mountains. The prosecution used circumstantial evidence to suggest a crime driven by anger and resentment. The defense argued that Mark was innocent, saying the prosecution's case was based on guesses, not solid proof. The trial of Mark Redwine started in June 2021 and quickly became a media sensation. Cameras filled the courtroom, capturing every tear, every outburst, and every emotion. The prosecution worked hard to prove Mark was guilty, presenting their case in great detail. But it was the testimony from Mark Redwine's own family that shocked everyone and grabbed the nation's attention. Dylan's brother, Corey, took the stand his voice shaking with grief and anger as he shared his suspicions about their father. Dylan's mother, Elaine Hall, showed incredible strength throughout the trial. But the most surprising testimony came from Dylan's friends, who spoke about a troubling pattern of alleged abuse by his father. The defense faced a lot of damning testimony and a jury moved by the emotional weight of the prosecution's case, but they mounted a strong defense. They said the prosecution's case was based on guesses and lacked solid evidence. Mark Redwine, who was mostly silent during the trial, decided to speak in his own defense. He calmly said he was innocent and denied any role in Dylan's death. The prosecution quickly pointed out problems in Mark's story and said his detached behavior showed he was guilty. The courtroom was full of emotions, with the prosecution asking the jury for justice and the defense holding on to the idea of reasonable doubt. As the trial gained national attention, Dr. Phil McGraw, the famous TV psychologist known for his straightforward style, took notice. Dr. Phil, interested in the case and the conflicting stories about Mark Redwine, invited both Mark and Elaine to his show. The stage was set for a dramatic showdown, with father and mother facing off in front of millions of viewers. Dr. Phil, using his mix of empathy and directness, questioned Mark Redwine about the inconsistencies in his story and his lack of emotion. Elaine Hall, given a chance to share her story, gave a heart-wrenching account of her son's disappearance and her belief in Mark Redwine's guilt. The Dr. Phil episodes, while not a court of law, gave Elaine a platform to be heard and Mark Redwine to face public opinion. Dr. Phil, with his experience in reading body language and analyzing words, suggested that Mark Redwine's behavior showed signs of deception. Dr. Phil, an expert in reading people, looked at Mark Redwine's body language and words to find any signs of lying. He noticed that Mark often avoided eye contact, which can show discomfort or guilt. When asked tough questions, Mark would shift in his seat, fidget with his hands or clear his throat, all signs of nervousness. Dr. Phil also looked at Mark's words, seeing that he often used vague statements and avoided clear answers. A key moment was when Dr. Phil showed Mark a photo of Dylan, smiling brightly. Mark's lack of reaction said a lot. While body language and words alone can't prove guilt or innocence, they can give clues about a person's feelings. The Dylan Redwine case got national attention through Dr. Phil's show and many news reports, showing how TV can shape what people think about true crime. People all over the country became amateur detectives, looking at every detail of the case and debating if Mark Redwine was guilty or not. 
The line between entertainment and justice blurred as people got emotionally involved in the real-life courtroom drama. The Dr. Phil episodes led to heated debates online and in homes across America. Some viewers praised Dr. Phil for giving Elaine Hall a voice and highlighting the case. Others criticized Dr. Phil for exploiting a tragedy for ratings and possibly influencing jurors. The Red Wine case, like other high-profile true crime stories, raised important questions about the media's role in the justice system. After weeks of testimony and intense moments, the jury in Mark Redwine's trial reached a decision. In July 2021, Mark Redwine was found guilty of second-degree murder and child abuse causing death. The courtroom, full of people and media, reacted with gasps and tears as the verdict was read. Elaine Hall, showing both relief and grief, hugged her family and supporters, feeling some justice for her son. The verdict was a win for the prosecution and law enforcement, but it didn't lessen the pain of losing Dylan Redwine. Mark Redwine, who claimed he was innocent throughout, was sentenced to 48 years in prison. The Dylan Redwine case, with its family secrets, different stories, and media attention, highlighted the serious effects of domestic violence and the need for justice for victims. Even though Mark Redwine was found guilty and is in prison, some questions about Dylan's death are still unanswered. The prosecution had a strong case, but without a confession or clear evidence linking Mark to the murder, there is still doubt. The exact details of Dylan's death, why it happened, and how his body ended up on a remote mountainside are still a mystery. Some believe Mark Redwine, driven by anger or resentment, hurt Dylan on purpose. Others think Dylan's death was a tragic accident, maybe from a heated argument, or a moment of parental negligence. The case also showed how hard it is to investigate crimes within a family. Dylan Redwine's case reminds us that even with advanced forensic science and media attention, some cases are hard to solve. The tragic case of Dylan Redwine deeply affected everyone who followed it, showing how vulnerable children are and the terrible effects of domestic violence. Dylan's story, though sad, showed how important it is to be watchful act early and make a safe space for children to talk about abuse. Elaine Hall, through the long ordeal, became a symbol of a mother's strong love and her fight for justice. Her strength and determination, despite her great loss, inspired many to become advocates for domestic violence victims and push for change. The Dylan Redwine case also showed how important law enforcement, forensic science, and the justice system are in holding wrongdoers accountable. The hard work of investigators, prosecutors, and victim advocates who work to find the truth and get justice for Dylan highlighted the importance of these groups in protecting the vulnerable. Dylan's legacy, though born from great loss, became a force for positive change, encouraging everyone to protect children and create a world where every child feels safe, loved, and heard. Please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Let's go!